All right, so for this video, I will show you guys how to fully set up Switch Tools, um, AKA the settings page, uh, which, is, which are the only things that you need to run any of your tasks, um, especially for the generator tasks. So I will go over the settings right here, the cache shell and IMAP, which is usually used for uh, the email verification modules, um, and then your API keys such as SMS root, which is SMS activate for the SMS, SMS man is an SMS provider as well, and then two CAPTCHA for CAPTCHA solving uh, in certain modules. All right, so for this first part of the settings uh, setup um, video, we will go over this, the general settings. Um, so first of all, your first tab, you will see uh, Discord webhooks. This is basically um, where you will put your Discord webhooks so you can get notifications such as um, a task are fully done or just task successful, task failed, etc. Uh, so to set up a uh, Discord webhook, you obviously need Discord. You want to uh, click uh, create a channel on the Discord channel. You're going to click on edit uh, channel integration. You're going to click on create webhook and then you can name your webhook, add a picture and then you click on create webhook. On copy webhook URL. Once that's done, all you have to do is you just simply put that in there and then just you can click on the test webhook and you can see that a webhook has been sent. To continue on with the settings page, we will speak about the browser limit and then the request limit. Uh, essentially, what these are is how many tasks do you want to run at the same time. Now then, um, browser limit is for modules that use browsers inside of them, and request limit is for the modules that request request that uses a request, which means it doesn't use any browsers. So, as an example, that Nike module does use browsers, so. Say I want to run five browsers at the same time while create while making accounts, I will put five in there. And say I want to run Footlocker, and since Footlocker is a request-based module, um, well, I want to run 15 tasks at the same time um, while running my tasks. So what this means is that there's always going to be five browsers running at the same time. There's always going to be 15 request tasks running at the same time. All right, next up we have the catch and IMAP settings. So essentially the catch and IMAP settings are um, usually used for any module that will require um, some sort of email verification. Um, so the two inputs, which is catch email and catch password is basically the email and the password of the Google account that is receiving all the emails through your forwarded um, catch -all. For those who don't know what a catch-all is, I highly recommend going on docs.switchtools.com and go to the initial setup settings page and then you can see right here how to successfully create a domain and forward it so you can forward all the emails towards one main uh, Google uh, one main Google account. <clears throat> so um, first of all, you need a Google account. So I generate a Google account and just for the sake of t testing and showing that to you guys, so once uh, you have a Google account, what you want to do is you want to log in into that Google account. So I already did that before uh, starting the recording. What you want to go is you want to go to security and then you want to go to less secure apps. So you want to click on that. And once you get there, you just have to click on on. For those who have um, two step verification, which is called 2FA um, <clears throat> activated on your Google account, what you would want to do is create a app password, uh, which you can do through uh, your, your uh, Google settings here too. So once that's done, what you want to do is you simply want to put the email and the password of the Google account that is receiving everything. And then once that's done, you're going to click on test catch all. Uh, basically, testing catch all will, will tell you if your connection is successful. If your connection is successful, that means the bot is um, able to go in your email and catch those emails, um, whether it's for generated accounts or logging in, etc. Finally, the last step to setting up your um, switch to settings, and it is the most important one in setting up your API keys. So what are API keys? API keys are basically what we use to communicate between certain services, such as SMS Activate, SMS Man, and then to capture. Uh, it's nothing, you don't have to really uh, understand how it works, it's just 
you just have to really just follow up on the guides and you should be all fine. So first of all, for API keys, uh, we use SMS Activate, which is a SMS uh, provider, which helps us uh, usually verify phone numbers um, to verify your accounts, such as with Nike Account Generator, Amazon Account Generator. So first of all, what you want to do, you want to go to smsactivate.org and you want to create an account. I've already created an account. Uh, once you've created your account, the one thing you want to do is you top up your money uh, because SMS do cost a bit of money. Uh, once that's done, you go to your profile. Um, <clears throat> you can go to your settings and you will find your API key. So all you have to do is copy this and then input it into the bots, into the SMS room. Then save your settings. Uh, and then same thing goes, same principle goes for SMS man. I've already created myself an account. The SMS man is sms-man.com. You're going to create an account. You're going to click on profile. And then you will find your API key right here. And all you need to do is put it inside of the bot. And the same concept goes for TrueCaptcha. TrueCaptcha is not an SMS provider. It's a CAPTCHA uh, solver provider, which helps us with uh, modules such as Amazon to solve the CAPTCHA. What you want to do is keep in mind you want to add this balance. And you just want to uh, copy your API key after creating an account, obviously. And you just put it in here. And that's it. You're all set up for Switch Tools.